for everybody's sanity. Recording started. <clears throat> Hello, this is S-T-E-V-E, -E, the DM slash GM, and these are my players. I'm Jack, I'm a black dragonborn barbarian. My name is Ilda, I'm a dwarven rogue. My name is Jeremy, aka the doctor. <laughs> I'm a ranger what elf. Yeah, that's it. And I'm Seth, I'm a tiefling bard. And this is Devos and Dumbasses. <coughs> Some are bigger dumbasses than others. <coughs> but last time, well, the group got a nice quest from the leader of this town, Tron. Or should I say, Tronald. They're tasked with hunting down Rodan Quint. <coughs> and well, they decided that everybody else. They just decided that everybody was going to go to the uh, market. Which led into some very big controversy when uh, Jeremy decided to shoot somebody in the ass. I didn't want to do that. It just happened to be, you know, the ass. You kind of just did it, dude. You rolled horribly. Yeah, yeah, that's not my fault, though. Seems like everybody is connected and ready, so let's start it off. Where we last left off, we were at... We've just finished up with Ilda and Seth at New to You. And now we move on to... Good old Jack. Wait, let me just get this ready. You are right at the tank. Alrighty. You see, oh, you see a calm, just laid back, chill woman sitting at the back, just dancing around, humming to herself. Hey boss, so this is gonna sound really weird, but. Have you guys handled You're any? Out there. Yeah, so you are breaking up. Jeremy, yeah, because they can't hear you over the fucking music. They can't hear you, man. Fix that mic. It's not the mic. It's the music playing. My laptop filters out background audio by silencing the mic. Laptop broken. He said it's not the mic. It's his laptop that's not. Um, Don't ask me like how I understood what that is. What he said. <laughs> so, let's see, so the laptop is cutting back for the music. Okay, I'll get a There we go. Can you hear me okay now? Yes. Your satellite climbing is good. Okay. All signs point to no. <laughs> Alright. So. Okay, so you arrive at the tannery and you see a young woman behind the counter just dancing around. Yeah. Uh, you can tell that she's human. Okay. Okay. Uh, I would like to ask... Hey, my friends, well... I would like to ask her if they have handled any wolves lately. She turned around it's like... Wolves? As you can tell, she is blind. Ah. Okay. Yeah. This is gonna sound weird, but I'm I need some parts from a wolf. It's a tribe thing. I honestly don't really understand it. And just somebody told me about it. I was gonna need it eventually, so I figured might as well get it while we're here. But just take the claws. What do you need from a wolf? Uh, I just need a claw or a tooth or something. Okay, well, let's see. We um, got a uh, badger, a uh, mountain lion, um, owl bear. Mm -hmm. You get a stunt familiar. I'm gonna laugh. Let's see. Uh, no, it doesn't look like we have any wolves. Oh. We got a dire rat. Well, that works. Yeah, uh, no, I don't think so. Sorry. Well, if you're looking for wolf pelts, you can always try out of the town. There's a forest not too far from here. Okay, thanks. I'll check that out. And just be careful, the last group of people that said they wanted to get wolf pelts, uh, 
haven't returned hmm. in a week. Hmm. Well, maybe I'll find them too. We'll see. Alright. Have a good day. Uh, is there anything else I can get for you? Uh... I think I'd grab one of those uh, owl bear claws while I'm here. I mean, I don't see why not. I mean, I usually just throw them away. Yeah. Thanks. They don't make good armor. Yeah. Again, it's a tribal thing someone told me about. I'm not really sure. Just better safe than sorry. Are you sure you don't have to kill it yourself for it to be part of the tribal thing? Yeah, they said it was... Uh, I just needed to have some semblance of the creature with me, so. Okay. Yeah. I mean, if you wanted, I, I'm not stopping you from taking it. I yeah. couldn't stop you, I don't even know where you are. Yeah. Fair enough. Alright, I will take the owlbear claw and... I guess... Just... Put it in my backpack or something. I don't, oh, I'll put it in my pouch. Okay. Because I have a pouch. By the way, have a nice day, Scaly. You too. Take care. Wait, what? I don't care. <laughs> She's fine. She can't, it's not that she can't touch things, she just can't see. That's fine. Oh, no. She never touched them. That's what I was thinking. Oh, I was thinking that since they exchanged money and stuff and he had to grab the claw from oh, her. No. That's what I was thinking. He didn't have to pay for the claw. She was throwing it away. Mm. You can't make tannery goods with claws and stuff. Are we sure that this person is? I do not care. I will leave the building <laughs> and move on. Completely oblivious to the world around them. I just the don't give a shit. She's not them. trying to kill me. I don't care. She tries, I will happily gut her like a fish. But until then, <laughs> I do not care. Okay. So, the only person since, uh... <clears throat> since Seth and Ilda, I, I imagine you both have, are leaving. Jack, you're yeah, about to leave. I was, mm -hmm. I was startled by the screen. So, like... Jack, you, were also, you also leave a little bit before the screen happens. Mm -hmm. So... As you're starting to walk down the street, are you looking for any other stores? You still have time. Uh, sure. I guess I'll look for some kind of like. I think I'll go to Tykes Trinkets and see what's over there. Okay. Taking forever, man. Walk like a grandpa. Eh, <laughs> uh, shut up. You arrive at Tykes Trinkets and you notice that it's a lot of just. Peculiar and other items. Hmm. Um, the only way to put it, other than there's a mixture of jewelry, magical items, weird like decoration, decorative items, and stuff like that. Pub and Sandy's have the same owner, and who, who happens to be suspiciously socialist and fail um, at money? That's Barney, not Bernie. <laughs> yes, I know. Uh, let's be honest; that'll be closer than the other names we have so far. <laughs> eh. Anyways. No, I don't think anybody can be Rod and Clint. I would like to look for an employee of the store. You look around and you see several. It's a I would big store. I would like to ask one of them if they have any wolf's teeth okay, in, hold on. in stock. You see three. You see three different people. You see a young woman. Okay. You see a half orc man. Okay. And then you see an elf that you can't determine the gender of. Okay. So who do you go to? I will go to the half orc. Okay, you go up to the half orc, and he's like, <laughs> "What?" How you doing, boss? I'm looking for a uh, wolf's tooth, maybe? Anything? Uh, hold on. Man, 
Take it down. assistance requested. Take it down, boss. Yeah. <laughs> Me too. You see, you see, uh, the weird elf that you can't determine the gender of walk by is like, Johnny, is everything all right? You requested assistance. Uh, this customer wants to know if we have any wolf's uh, teeth. Was it? Yep. Do we have any wolf's teeth? The elf replies. Uh, I have to check the back. <sighs> okay. She's gonna have to check the back. Okay, take your time. Is there anything else that you might want? Uh, Running a sale on bags of holding. Sure, <laughs> I'll take one of those. Okay. That will be four hundred gold, please. Yeah. Never mind then, I don't have that much. Sorry, boss. Manager assistance requested. <laughs> <laughs> you see the elf come back, it's like, Johnny, what was it? What is it now? <sighs> he doesn't seem to have any money. I didn't say that, I just said I don't have 400. Well, well, um, I, I don't know what to say, but, um, I found your wolf's teeth, I guess. I think they're wolf's teeth. Alright. She kind of just hands you, like, some teeth. Like, they were marked in a do not sell container, but uh, if you want them, I mean, that'll be s 10 gold? Sure. Deal. Okay. <sighs> Please hand over the 10 gold, sir. Okay. Thank you, and thanks for shopping at Tyke's Trinkets. You're welcome. Have for a good all day. your miscellaneous needs. Take care, boss. <sighs> Why do I keep working here? <laughs> so, what did I just purchase? You have mysterious teeth. Alright. One of them is a molar. That's all you can tell. You don't know if they belong to a wolf or not. They're just teeth. Okay. Do I notice anything else changing? No. Nope. hint. Okay. Fuck. Just a waste of money then. Yep. Alright. Okay, I, now we... I, it, was, it was smart. Do not sell. Yeah. Poor Johnny. Hates his job. Yeah, poor kid. Boo hoo. Join the fucking club. You noticed that he was only like 18. Again, boo hoo. Join the fucking club. <laughs> and now we go over to Jeremy. After being run off by a dwarf. Oh, by the way, at this point, Jack, you heard the scream while you were talking to him. Talking to uh, J Johnny. Eh. Did you care at all about that scream? Nope. Oh. It's okay. a city. People will scream. I really don't give a shit. You also heard some shots shit. fired, like some loud bangs. Again, it's a city. I really don't give a shit. Okay, moving on. You were Jeremy. quite the appetite. I know. Yes. Yes. You okay. arrived at Weber. What do you, you walk in and you notice that there's a lot of potions and stuff all around the room, <laughs> <laughs> and you can smell a like, strong smell of alcohol. <laughs> For a second, I thought it said Hebrew. <laughs> I know that's funny. All right. Um, so I go up to the where was behind the counter. You see, a elderly woman's like, yes. Do you have any um, bags of holding? <laughs> she kind of squints her eyes and's like, bags of holding, sunny. Uh, no, no, uh, we, we don't sell that, uh, I'm sorry, but, uh, I think you got the wrong store. We, we sell potions here. 
I, I, do you want a potion or something? Well, can I, what's your strongest alcohol? Ah, uh, you want the special stuff. <laughs> she reaches under the counter and grabs out a jug. She pours herself, a, a, she pours herself two glasses. It's like, oh, do you want a sample? Yes. <laughs> okay, please make me a con saving throw. You're fucked. Minus ten. Oh, jeez. Holy oh, fuck. Oh my god. Oh god. <laughs> <Negative> six. <laughs> You're fucked. <clears throat> this is what happens. After taking just a sip... You pass out immediately and die. Woozy. No, no, no. You feel completely woozy. The smell alone makes you feel very unfortunate. <clears throat> so you kind of spin around and you just kind of fall into the floor and pass out. But you notice that the woman just takes a shot and just completely is unharmed. And she's kind of just chuckling. <laughs> a little snot nose pump doesn't know his own alcohol. <laughs> And before you pass out from alcohol poisoning, she reaches over and takes a vial off the wall. like, <laughs> there you go, Sonny. And pours a little drop in your mouth and you feel better. <laughs> Do you still want it? <laughs> no, I'm fine. Uh. <laughs> Would you like another shot? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm good. Alright, uh, <laughs> what else do you have here? I mean, we got some, uh, antitoxin poisons and, uh, various other things. Whatever you need, you know? <laughs> well, do you know where I could get a bag of holding? Well, uh, um, uh, a bag of holding, uh, you need a magical shop, but... Uh, but they ain't cheap, you know. Yes, I know. Now, uh, if I'm not mistaken, there used to be a store, um, not that far from here, northern part of the uh, district. Uh, what was it called? Uh, she takes another shot. Uh, oh, 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 yeah, 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 um, it was, uh, the Marcuses. I head there. She points you up the road in this general direction. At this point, you notice that Jack is leaping, walking away. What do you do? I go to Marcus's. Okay. <laughs> Please roll me an intelligence check. told you to. Have you rolled a one yet? No. No, but he failed the intelligence save. Well, I know that. Roll me another intelligence check. Because you think you're in the right area, but you're not sure if it's farther or not. Okay, you completely think you're in the right area, but you, have no, you don't see Marcus's.
worried and you just see Sandy's right where it used to be. It's for dramatic effect. So you walk into Sandy's? Yeah, might as well. people talking. Okay, I don't hear. Here it is. Here we go. Yeah. You walk into Sandy's. And you realize it's for food, but it's a food place. I think it. <laughs> Do you sell bags of holding here? <laughs> well, see no sandwiches. See sandwiches and all whatnot. So what do you do? You see a, you see a nice young woman, elvish, up here and he's like, Oh, welcome! Welcome to Sandy's! What can I get for you? <laughs> Your number! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> she kind of just like, you... Uh, um, today's special is a nice, uh, ham on rye. With the, the chef's secret sauce. Uh, can, I, can I have your secret sauce? <laughs> she, she now looks a little disgusted by it. It's like, mm. <laughs> Get away. She looks uncomfortable. She looks highly uncomfortable. Sharp! Sharp! <laughs> Sharp! <laughs> She away. walks into the kitchen. Rock a perception check. You should probably leave. <laughs> Roll me a perception check, Jeremy. <laughs> or should I, I should hop over the counter and go after her. <laughs> are you serious? <laughs> are, you, are you doing that? <laughs> no, 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 I'm not. No. Okay. You see that she's talking to a very huge, <laughs> massive guy in the back. Okay. He seems to be the butcher. In oh, charge sorry. of cutting all the meat for the sandwiches. What do you do? As she points directly at you. I feel like he's gonna make a little priest. I feel like... <laughs> for those of you who I've gone this mentioned. far. And I don't think I can come back. <laughs> uh, Rob, your conscience is telling you. See, yes it is. But also, you can smell a lot of alcohol in your own breath from the shot you tried to take. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's probably why. <laughs> okay. Um, I decide to go and go into Dink and Dapper. <laughs> you walk into Dink and Dapper. That's a very smart decision. <laughs> Mark is big on history. <laughs> I walk to the counter and ask, what is it in a store that I can buy? Hold on. Like, what do you have, basically? Hold on. You walk in, and you see that there's no counter. It's just a lot of guys just sitting around, waiting. Well, I mean, it's changing room and all that. Oh. Well. A few people here and there just going in and out. Do does any one of them appear to be like they work there? No, well, you can't tell, but you see some well-dressed men, with top hats, and monocles, and stuff just scattered around. One walks up to you, like, hello. How oh, may I help you? My name is Reginald. Welcome to Dank and Dapper. I was look. I was. I. I was wondering if you had any accessories for musical instruments. 
Ooh, musical instruments. Uh, oof. Unfortunately, we don't do stuff with musical instruments, but accessories. Um, I think I might find something just for you. He comes back with a pipe. I already have one. Oh, you already have one, sir. Oh, may I see it then? I show him my pipe. You yeah. have your pipe on you. No. Then you cannot show him your pipe. <laughs> <laughs> I can't imaginary pipe. <laughs> Can I describe to him what my pipe looks like? Yes. You have an ivory pipe. With a wooden trim. Ivory? Jeez. Okay. So... I describe it to him. Yes. I was like, ooh, oh my, quite fancy, sir. But, uh, alas, uh, what was so five years ago? What you need... I don't think is, I would be What you need is a new ivory gold trim. He pulls out one from the case. Doesn't require any form of... Well... Anything really. It creates its own smoke. As he takes a puff from it and shoots out a huge puff of smoke. Does this smoke have a suspicious smell to it? Roll perception, Jeremy. With disadvantage. <laughs> that your vision starts to get blurry and you start <laughs> to see things. <laughs> the man in front of you is no longer a man, but an eagle. Well, can I speak to this eagle? <laughs> How would you like to speak to this eagle? Kaka, <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> the eagle looks at you and just says, and then, and then I say, um, well, I was looking, I have this very rare and unique instrument called a flutolin, and <laughs> I was wondering if you could get me something to accessorize it, like a little hat I could nail onto it, or something. Oh, that a rat. A rat? A rat. No, I said hat, not rat. <laughs> is it like a is it a green rat? Yes. It's a bright green, almost like toxic green rat. No, I want I want a dark green rat. Call He goes back and he brings he brings in a bluish green kind of a mango. Hey. Oh, tripping so hard. Do you have any rats that aren't mango or bright green, but are just a normal darkish green? Well, it's a bluish green, dark bluish green mango. Okay, yeah, but then that. Does it have like a little red feather? Oh, you know, just that's from. And starting from this bluish green mango is an orange leaf. I want a red leaf. Oh. Oh. Eagle puts the mango in front of you. I just want to say that the music is perfect. <laughs> 
Thank you, I put a lot of thought into this. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Now, is there a way to nail this onto my, into my food away? Cool. You see, he takes a cactus. <laughs> <laughs> And puts it on top of your flute lid. <laughs> then he proceeds to take the mango and bash the cactus into the mango on top of your flute lid. <laughs> he then goes, <laughs> Wait, so he, wait. Why isn't the mango on my flute lid? Your mango is on the flute. You said he used the mango to he bash the, the cactus. He used the cactus to bash the mango. Okay, that makes sense. Okay. <laughs> and uh, how much? <laughs> how much? How much will that cost? Call. Oh. It holds up. Ten feathers. Okay. I'll just give him like what? ten gold pieces. Roll really quickly. Roll me a d20. Okay. He also he turns around and gives you this magical looking flute that just floats with a golden aura. And just like call. I'm a little afraid of what happens after this. He just pushes you out the door. When he gives me it with the Yep, he gives you it with it and then he pushes you out the door. Okay. Okay, so, come back to your senses. Please remove 60 gold. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> you also now have the pipe that you use. The, gold, the ivory and golden pipe. And you also notice that your flutolin now has a orange top hat. God damn it, I want a green. Well, actually, it has like a... It has a green top. It's a green top hat with like orange trim, but with a red feather. I was gonna Fine. ask what he sees all the people in the room. So I got what, like a we're adding a pipe or whatever. You got the ivory pipe that shoots out smoke on its own. The ivory and gold pipe. <laughs> then you have then on top of that you have the green, the dark green with gold trim, I mean with the orange trim and the red feather hat for your flute lid. Well, that, it's attached to my violin, so I just wrote that. Yes, it's now attached to it. It's attached to the very top of it. Okay, okay. It's fairly fancy. How much is the, uh... You spent 60 gold there. No, how much, how much is the gold pipe? It like weighs right. exactly the same amount as your other pipe. Okay. 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 Now on top of that, you, you have this weird smell about you, and you, you can still smell alcohol on your breath. Where else would you like <laughs> to go? Yeah, I'm drunk and high. <laughs> Where else would you like to go? Okay, well hold on, let me look at the map. At this point, you see that everybody is kind of gathered at the distance, just kind of walking away. Can I go to Trike's Trinkets? <sighs> okay, with that, we move on to the other group really quickly. <laughs> God damn it. <clears throat> so. And Jeremy, I'll just say that you are so high and drunk that you kind of just wandered back into the group. Oh, what the fuck? Because I am tired of this market area. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <sighs> All right. Well, can I at least play my fluto limb now while we're walking? No, because you don't have it with you. Yes, I do. Actually, he does. Oh yeah, he does. It has a freaking top hat on it. And it now has a top hat on it. Oh. Oh, notice the top hat. <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, what is that? It's a top hat. <laughs> Just goes to show how much p attention I'm paying. So where would you guys like to go next? Well, I'm headed back to the tavern. 
I play my Ludolin. Have I been rejoined with the rest of the group or no? Yes. I'm not sure. Everyone's together. Okay. Surprisingly, it took, didn't take long for Jeremy to catch up with the group. Jeremy, roll me a performance check. It doesn't have to be good. I know I'm high and drunk, kind of. Yeah, you're high and drunk. Please roll. It oh, sounds horrible. You see people just run. <laughs> You see people just running from you. You suck end. and you're a bitch. Ooh. Hold on. Hold on. You're so high and drunk that it kind of looks like weird blobs are just walking around with smiles on their faces. <laughs> Get fucked, druggy. The kite in the clouds. <laughs> it gives you joy. I am happy. <laughs> and that's all that matters. You notice that some familiar looking blobs are walking forward. And you catch up to them. <laughs> okay. Where to next, guys? Well, I, for one, am headed back to the tavern. I would okay. like to mention to the group what I heard about the forest and ask if they want to go check it out. I will. Mm, you need to sleep off whatever the fuck's <laughs> going on right now first. Hold on, please. I'm Let me translate to Jeremy what he hears. He hears... <laughs> along with some weird, obscene hand gestures. <laughs> Coming from a very familiar blob to the north. <laughs> I decide to follow... Jack's blob, wherever it goes. Roll to see if it's Jack's blob. Also, you still have to roll a wisdom save. He just starts, like, following some random person. There's a vicious monster. By the way, Jeremy, roll me a wisdom save with advantage, because you're... Okay, you passed. Hold on. I need to do advantage, right, or no? You, you can do advantage if you want. Well, I still pass, so it doesn't matter now. You can still do it if you want. Because you're just so high, you don't even give a fuck. <laughs> you don't give a flying fuck, which you just see fly by. <laughs> <laughs> so, is it, does it have wings when it's flying by? Nope. It's it's flying at a sheer anger. <laughs> <laughs> what is the fuck? <laughs> oh, I actually see a flying fuck, like an actual yes. fuck. Yes. <laughs> Like just the word fuck with the wings attached to it. Yeah. But it doesn't have wings, it's just flying. It's just It has eyebrows. It has eyebrows and it's just like pointed inward. Very Can inward. I give it a top hat? <laughs> Can I give it a top hat? Yeah. 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 Is an intelligence check to see if you're following Jack's blob. Okay. The second one is to see if you can create a top hat for this flying fuck. <laughs> okay. So, I may have found the, uh, the eyebrows. I'm scared to look. <laughs> oh god, yes. Yes, those are it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, so let's just describe the scene now. So, Jeremy, <clears throat> in the high state that you are, you walk into the park. What is it with the park? <laughs> the problem you were following was some random guy and his girlfriends. <laughs> so, friends? Girlfriends. Plural? Jesus. Yes. But then you create a moderately well top hat, well, to you, and you throw it at the fuck. <laughs> you see the blobs turn around and get angry at you. Oh god. But then Can you I realize they're all... my photo then? But then you realize they are all wearing top hats. <laughs> this is beautiful. And on your hand is a top hat 
that you can't get off. <laughs> <laughs> Can I go with the flowing try and calm him down with my flute lips? Roll performance. Dude, somebody just put the Cheshire cat in this guy's head. I swear. Roll performance, sir. I was about to say. Oof, I got scared for a moment. That's funny. <laughs> oh, God. They get angry at you, and the blobs jump on you. No. Oh. The fucks jump on me? The blobs jump on you. Oh, you're the now blob. covered the in blob. small... Wait, you're now covered in small little top hats. <laughs> they range from colors. But mostly stay around a bluish greenish color. <laughs> you see some... You see some, like, purplish ones. And then you see some... Like a few that are a solid yellow coming from your mouth, like coming from your mouth when you put your hand over it and nose. But that's it, and then you pass out. Moving on. <laughs> Jeremy, you are now passed out inside the park. I swear this park is like a magnet. <laughs> okay, so where is everybody else going? I'm headed back to the tavern. Okay. Poof, I teleport. Perfect. <laughs> Don't worry, you're not high. <laughs> Thank goodness. I was worried I was going to get a contact high from this. <laughs> <laughs> I so, think I might be getting contact high from him. <laughs> because I had to come over with that entire scene. <laughs> it was glorious, but still. <laughs> I'm disappointed he didn't try to catch the flying F. You okay, know... But still, that was glorious. And the music was perfect. I, 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 I saw my music choice. I, I almost wanted to see him, like, look at every single person as, like, an eagle or a freaking boar or what. I was expecting him to pull a Candace Flynn from Phineas and Ferb, where she, like, freaks out after the, her parsnip allergy makes her crazy. And she just, like, sees a talking zebra. Okay, so, Ilda and Jack, where are you guys going? I was thinking of going to the slums, just to see okay. if there's, like, any information. Oh, hey, we might actually get a fight. Finally. <laughs> so you're going to the slums? Jack, are you there? Uh, I think I'll just follow Ilda and make sure she's okay. Okay. I may be four feet tall, but I can protect myself, thank you. Eh. We'll see. Here comes the Edward Elric. Um, she's the strong, independent dwarf. <laughs> and no, I'm the Edward Elric, damn it. And I'll be a dwarf, well. So which way are you guys going? Please paint me the picture of which way you're going. Using the tool. Like this. Oh, the writing tool? Yes. I need to know what path you're going. So I know how to fuck with you. Well, I'm basically just following her. So. Okay. I can't draw very straight with this thing. I gotta find a way to get this, uh... So I guess we would be going to the commons first, and then to the slums. <sighs> Jack draws worse than I do. Yeah, no kidding. Okay. So, uh, between Seth, Ilda, and Jack, roll me initiatives. Because I didn't imagine that you guys are all traveling the same path when you get to this. You get to the uh, same point over here, right? Yeah, I guess so. I don't know what to say. For you actually have the best. Yeah, I'm a little bit confused. Hold on. Jeremy, can you take that off the, ta uh, off the pattern, please? <laughs> Start oh, pushing no. private. Stop drawing private, it's private. <laughs> I don't care if you're high, stop it. Just, just picture eagles with top hats, sir. This is what happens when you give a private a general's rank. 
<laughs> so the lower, the, literally the lowest possible rank oh. to the fucking highest. Okay, so um, Jack and Ilda, please roll again. Uh, initiative? Yes. I guess he comes first. Well, Motherfucker. That solves that problem. So, I'm sorry. Order is going to be simple. It's going to be... Seth. I have a bad feeling about this. It's Seth, then me, then Jack. It should be. This is what Hold you on. get when you put the tank in the back. Well, I see a nat 20 in there, so something tells me I'm not going first. Oh, no, no, you're going first. That was our second round. Oh, okay. <laughs> so this is the order. Mm -hmm. Because Jack and I got the same number. We had to do a roll-off. One, seven, Ilda, two, three. Okay, so I'm not going. Okay. You're actually going second, Seth. That's what I thought. So as you're walking down the street, you notice that there's some raggedy old guys. Well, middle-aged guys. Coming out of the alley. And they look over at you. And they brandish daggers. It's like, give us your money. They do that to a obviously armed and fucked up dragonborn. You can tell that their clothes and everything else, they are pretty messed up. Eh, fair enough. Like, like give it, one of them's like, give, give, give us all your valuables. He's kind of like just scratching out and all that. Mm. So are you sure you really want to, I mean, we do have, I'm going to glance at Jack. I mean, that doesn't seem like the wisest. Are you sure? One's going to try to hit you with a dagger. Okay, what save is that? Dex? Hold on. It's going to be against your AC. Oh, right, 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 yeah. He's probably going to hit. Well, it took us 45 minutes to get here. Hey! Does that hit? Nope, I have an AC 12. Okay, he misses. How does he manage to miss? 12 is not that high. Well, you notice know they're all on drugs, right? Mine's 13, so... Eh. Mine's 14. Okay. So, now it is Seth's turn. Hang on a second. Wait. Uh, oh, never mind. Uh, I'm not going to question anything. I'm going with it. Good. <laughs> Smile yeah, and nod. That's, that's the best thing. Jack. That's basically the safest course of action we can take. I wasn't questioning about you, Jeremy. Nothing, not everything is about you. I was talking to the order. One, Seth, sure. Ilda, two, three, Jack. Okay, so I'm second, because you said... No, you're third. I'm third? Yes. Okay. Uh, I'm confused, because the way you wrote that doesn't make sense. One, then two, and three. It's third, guys yeah. one, two, and three. I'm going to start insulting the intelligence of number two. <laughs> Oh, okay. He gets advantage on this because he's too stupid to realize. That's what the one, two, three meant. Okay, sorry. Mm. I swear, I just want to freaking. He passes barely. Jeez. Quick question Where are these guys standing? Yeah. They're all in general, uh, like. Oh. No, I'm done. I can fix that. Yeah, I'm gonna zoom in for the battle. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit, that guy's tall. <laughs> oh, jeez. We just got attacked by a kaiju. <laughs> he grows 50 feet taller with every insult. <laughs> I wasn't insulting him, I'm just saying he's tall. Hey, um, Hilda, we need... Maybe he wants to be short. Pick the wrong okay. life then. In Pokemon music. <laughs> Hold on. Battle music. Da, 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 da. Copyright! <laughs> Sorry, this is not copyrighted. I'm not like taking copyright material. I don't even know if it did that. Way. I don't think your singing is, you know, 
and down to trigger a copyright. You never know. It's YouTube. All battles same so here on out must be the Pokemon theme song. Second question, Steve. Is this measurement tool accurate? No. Fuck. No. Alright. So, Seth, what are you going to do? So it's your turn. Oh, wait, you already did the vicious mockery, so I guess it's my go, right? I just can't get a good roll, can I? Nope. Join the club. Alright, so is it my go? Yep. Okay. Yes. So, I guess kind of as... Found the battle music, guys. Oh, go ahead. Here we go. <laughs> this just makes me imagine me chasing them oh around my God, with my axe, just so swinging at them. So help me, if a buff dude shows up with no shirt and starts insisting that somebody put him on British actor. It's okay. Alright, so I also pull out one of my daggers. Okay. And I hide them underneath my jacket so they wouldn't expect like where it's coming from. Okay. Are you going to attack one, two, or three? Three is the one in the back. One and two are in that base. Um, I guess I will attack, uh, I will get number two, because he's... No, I mean, neither one of those really okay, but... I guess I'll go after number two. Yeah, that's no, keeping me from being able to talk. And it that. That's right, though. It's rolling the attack. That's not damage. Oh, now for damage, babe, click on the name. Click on what? The word dagger. Nope, not in, your, not in your character sheet, in the chat. In the chat? Oh, okay, sorry. It's okay. I always forget that. Like that. There you go. So Let's you go with Steve's. So, you did a total of... Eight. Eight. Sorry, I'm still getting used to the battle system. It's all good. <laughs> okay, you did eight damage to the guy. And that was the two? Uh, yeah, that was, I guess, this guy. Okay. Going from top to bottom and down. Okay. I guess the guy in the back would be three. Yeah, the guy in the back is oh. three. Guy two is going to attack you. And he lazily just falls over. <laughs> You don't even have to ask if that hits me or not. Does a 5 hit? No, of course not. Okay, considering that, like, 10 is the lowest AC you can possibly have. And I have a 12. Now guy 3 is going to attack. He's going to throw his dagger. Oh, shit. He, is now, he now has no dagger. Now, Jack, it is your turn. Alright, give me a second. I'm trying to find something. Alright. Alrighty. Oh, shit. Hang on. There's my fucking mouse. Okay. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. So, I'm gonna push up right next to this guy. 
And then I'm going to use my acid breath. Oh, jeez. In this direction. Okay. And it's a 30-foot line. Okay. Roll for accuracy. Nope. It's not a roll. It's either a hit or they're not in the range. So. As in, roll to hit them, dude. No, I'm saying I don't have to roll to hit. Yes. Well, you're aiming for a specific spot. All right. I was about to ask, are you aiming, are you telling him to roll damage, or what? I was just going to... You're aiming for a specific spot. You have to roll to hit that specific spot. Hmm. It's a very easy DC to get. And you failed. Yep. Of course I did. This is why the GM makes you roll, because he knows you're going to get these. Because you don't have to make an attack roll for an acid breath. It's a breath weapon that Dragonborn half. That's how it works. Yeah, that's it. Well, the whole thing is you wanted to aim it in... Hold on. You wanted to aim it at that general direction. Like that. As opposed to not aiming it? Well, as opposed to not aiming it, it means you could put it anywhere. But aiming it, you try and hit both of these two guys, right? Sure. No, well, you still hit the guy in front of you. He still has to do a dodge roll. No, oh, he has to make a constitution, uh, DC 12 constitution, or uh, dex save. So. Yes. The other guy, though, is not affected at all. Of course. No, oh, he gets hit. Because it's point blank. Alright. So he takes nine points of acid damage. However, you will also take a slash effect from it. Because of the one. I have acid resistance, so... Yes, but still. A slash of 30. Alright. Resistance only kicks in, so you only take one damage. Alright. For a tank, that's not bad. Yeah. Mm. You hurt yourself just a little bit. Mm. Okay. Well, now it's guys number one's turn again. Is somebody asleep on the line? No, no. someone's breathing heavily. Uh, stop breathing heavily. Does a seven hit you, Jack? Nope. <laughs> Why are these guys? Seth, I blame you. Because I'm terrifying. <laughs> Clearly my vicious mockery did more than we thought it did. <laughs> yes. Yeah, that, or they're just way too drunk to notice. Yeah, I'm so fucking like high and drunk in the fucking park. Not you, dumbass. Well, well Jeremy, I just gotta say, though, you're gone from the park. You disappeared. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? Did I drunk walk? Uh, we'll come back to you in a moment. <laughs> so, That's a yes. Who <laughs> face palmed? Not me. It's your turn, Seth. What do you do? Because I heard the smack. <laughs> I did too. Was it me? Seth. Seth. Alright, you know what? <laughs> Screw you guys. <laughs> Oh god. Hit all three of these guys with Bane. Do you have a drop of blood? I can. I have a blade and I have a hand. That's true. Oh god. Yes, yeah, so take okay. damage for that. Okay. Yes, please roll 1d4 on yourself. There you go. You take three damage. And now I got a single drop of blood, jeez. Well, it's not a single drop of blood, you cut yourself open. You just fucked up. And now I gotta roll 3d20. They have to make a saving throw against Charisma? What's the DC? DC is... 13. Okay. Not, not the best, but it'll do. Okay, so each one of those is minus four. One of them is a negative two. Yes. And none of them pass. Yes. So please roll damage for them. Alright, let's see. Same throw makes an attack. Okay, so they don't take damage. Okay, then what do they do? Um, the next... Uh, what is it? The next uh, roll that they make, attack or saving throw, they roll a d4 and subtract that number from 
what are, whatever it is they're doing. Okay. And that's all you're doing? Yeah. Okay. Well, now it's guys number two turn. Uh, no, no, sorry. It is Ilda's turn. Alright. So, I guess I will go after guy number two again, just because okay. he's right in my range and we've already clashed once. Okay. Please roll. Alrighty. You hit. Roll damage. Yay, I gotta write this in. There you go. Well, guy number two is bleeding heavily. Let's Damn, see if this, this works. Is the dagger. Let's see if this works. Okay. He's doing that to hit Ilda. Does that hit? 14. Yes. Okay. Sadly. How long is one round? Am I still one for? Six seconds. Six seconds. Oh, jeez. So, Bane lasts ten rounds. Oh, God. Well, take six damage, Ilda. Alrighty. Okay, and then guy three is going to attack Jack. <laughs> no, he is not. That's a swing and a fucking whiff, dude. And that's with his bare fist, because he threw his dagger earlier. Sucks to be you, dude. <laughs> Get ready to not have a head. Yeah. Alright, I'm so, gonna swing back at him with my great axe. Wow, bring it next to a fist fight, man. Yeah. <laughs> Don't Fuck bring off. Your fist, don't bring your fist to an axe fight. Oof. You know it's funny? You miss. <laughs> so I whiffed back at him. Yes. It's like... <laughs> oh yeah? That's, that's the fun thing. <laughs> you just create a larger blow of air. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Does the blow of air knock him off balance? Nope. Darn. Actually, it kind of sobers him up. <laughs> And he realizes he's fighting a dragonborn and runs. No. Of course. And now the next guy. Two. Guy number one is going to attack Seth and misses. <laughs> he falls flat on his face. And that's how they <laughs> fart. I'm just gonna laugh. It is now Seth's turn. Alright. This is turn two. Mm. Hang on. <sighs> Alright, so if I want to make a long sword attack on this guy... Yes. Uh, what, what do I click? Because I haven't actually used these. Okay, you just click your item. Nice. Congratulations, you got a 20. Not that. And then after that, you click your item again, like in the chat, where it says longsword. Put your face, put your uh, cursor over it, and just click it. Hey. Okay. So you did... Six damage. Because it's rolling 1d8 and 1d10. So seven damage. I'm not. Mm. Yeah, you did seven damage. Sure. Guy number one. Hey, play. That's pretty good. Even though it's technically a crit. Okay. Next. Is it one of the guys next? Oh no, no that's still okay. It would be me. Uh, and guy two. Alright, so I'm going to go after Guy 2 again, just because okay. I can, and he's a weak link at the moment, other than the guy who has no weapon. And the guy face down on the ground. <laughs> so yeah. you're going to aim to kill this guy. Basically, I've gotten tired of fighting people, so the sooner I can get him over with, the better. Okay. Though part of me is scared to do it, I feel like I have to. 
since they were trying to mug us. Yep, definitely have to. Alright, so I'm going to use my dagger, and I'm going to go after him. I don't think it's then. Okay, guys, you know. I feel like that. I feel like what I could do to explain that is that my conscience held me back from that, but I don't care. And he's um, going to miss. Guy two misses. I love Bane. I'm going to use it more often. Yeah, oh, it's God. pretty damn good. The next time I might cast it on Jeremy, though. <laughs> well, two and three both miss. Jack, it is your turn. Take two! <laughs> whiff. It's a whiff. <laughs> it's another whiff. <laughs> it's the battle of the whiffs. How did I, how did I predict that? Okay. Turn God three, guys. It's guy number one, correct? Yes. And he... He misses. I don't Seven know who's going to but he misses. Uh, I think I'm going to have to ban Bane. Just because of how long it takes to battle. No. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to go after guy one again. And you miss. miss. I don't even know which guy I'm going after. It's the one right in front of me. Is he one, two, or three? He is number two. So okay. He was number two. The same guy. Yeah. Okay, Ilda, it is your turn. Nobody can seem to hit. <laughs> Dagger, guy number two. Miss. I can't <sighs> see the dice. I literally can't, actually, with my So, seat. their, uh, it looks like their AC is 12. It's above a 12. I think it's like a 13. Yeah, because I, miss, I yeah. missed with a 12, so it's got to be like 13 or 14. Well, if you, if you match it, then Defender wins. So. Oh. Yeah, and I will with 13. 13. Does that hit you, Ilda? Yes. Super okay. weird, because they... How are they better armored than we are? They're also drunk. And we are actually wearing armor. I'm not. Okay, two of us are actually wearing armor. Four damage. <laughs> it's called the Drunken Fist. <laughs> the Drunken Fist drunk ability. Hagoof! This, this is what I say for that. Snowflake feels no pain! Did you just... <laughs> did you really... Yes. You just made that reference, didn't you? Yes. Also, does an 11 hit you, Jack? No. Get shit okay. on. So much whiffing. Can I explain where I got that reference from? So, exactly. Jack, it is your turn. No, you don't. Take three! There's only two places that could have... Oh my god. Motherfucker! <laughs> <clears throat> Sir? I swear I didn't cast Bane on you. I know. Let me just put it this way. I swear, <laughs> fucking Steve rigged my dice. Right, there's just some Uncle Crow shit going on in here. Sir? Sir? Mm -hmm. Let's just put it this way. Roll damage. Yep. Who did I hit? Roll damage. Well, okay. That's, that's a lucky one. Double that. And then subtract that from your health. Of course, double it. Because why not? Why? Because oh, because you you're a critical, critical fail. It's a critical fail, sir. Hmm, sure. You hit yourself. That's kind of... Cool. You swing your axe yeah, so hard, this kidding. guy, you hit yourself in the leg. Oh! Ow. And because it's a critical failure, just like any other crit, you double it. Hmm. Well... That doesn't make sense because he wouldn't have done any damage. Even don't if question the DM. I don't care at this point. Let's just move on. Guy one. Hey, gets really this tiring. This is the happened. longest fucking battle ever. Because of Bane. It's not <sighs> because of Bane. 
Bane is it's, what it's called. It's because of Bane. Bane so is another because of lives, thank you very much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see. Um, a 12, a 9, a 6, a 4, all these things. So, it is your turn, Seth. All right. I am so, so freaking sick of this right now. Everybody, make a charisma save. Oh, God. Oh, shit. My charisma is shit. Wait, that says constitution save. Did I say, const did I say charisma? Yes, oh, I say got good constitution. I can do that. God damn it. Hang on. So, um... Yeah, only one guy made it. He's standing perfectly fine, and that's guy number two. He's not bleeding profusely. Yeah, the guy bleeding profusely survives perfectly Motherfucker. fine. Motherfucker. Okay, so... Where is it originating from? Me. Yeah. Oh. Everyone except that one dude. Ilda, did you make your save? Yeah, I had to. Yeah, she's fine. Okay, so she's fine. The other guy's fine. Everyone else is pushed uh, ten feet away from me. Go ahead, Steve. How far is ten feet? About right there, I guess. Um, Ilda and the other guy take half damage. Okay. So we only take four? Yeah, and anything else... That isn't uh, isn't secured gets just flung. Well, all their daggers are now flying off in the back. That's what I thought. Does that include mine? Well, you have to roll a strength check to hold on to it. Oh, oh, and there's is this? I can roll a strength check. I will do that. Is it? I don't want to lose it. Okay, I'll save that for next uh, next turn. You lose it. I got another one. Don't worry, you can always pick it up later. Exactly. But <clears> I have another one that I can fight with, David. If it makes you feel any better, the check was a 10. So, yeah. Okay. So, um... And right yeah. now, Pitt yeah, I... can see it. These guys are just going to run away. Hey, because they don't want to deal with this crap. You freaking better run! They're just gonna run. And they are gone. Haha. <laughs> I'm just gonna let out an indignant huff. And then I'm gonna charge up to Seth and yell, You motherfucker! Jack? Remember to control your temper. And that is when you realize you're in a city. Killing people is frowned upon. I was yeah. wondering about that. <laughs> if you were to have killed any of them, you guys would have been in great trouble with the guards. I figured. Again. Which is why I'm actually glad that I rolled that really All bad right. roll. That's for Jack. Let's just put it this way. The reason that the guys ran is you dropped guy number two to one HP. I exactly did. one HP. Oh my god. Okay, healing word. Everybody heals for four. I'm not even I'm not even worried by this giant guy storming up. I'm just here you go. <laughs> just mock him. No, I'm not mocking him. I'm <laughs> I'm just like, hey. Here you go. Okay, so while you guys are going to where you ever, ever you're going, we're going to go switch back to Jeremy. Oh, oh no. God. Mr. Chipper, my balls. Okay, Jeremy. Are you there? Or did you go to the bathroom? No, he went to get some water this time. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, we'll, we'll just wrap it up here, then. So you guys are going to the slums, and then you're going to the tavern. Uh, how much time is left on the recording? Uh, we're at an hour and 14 minutes, so we got about 45 minutes left. Okay. If we want to make it a two-hour episode. We can well, always cut it short. 
My setting is stops at two hours, so. Okay, then. Well, we'll do it like this, then. Seth, you arrive back at the tavern. Nothing happened, really, other than, uh, you see one of the guys from the battle earlier, he's sitting at the, tr at the bar and just drinking his pain away. <laughs> and then he kind of just kind of shivers at, your, at the sight of you. He goes back to drinking his beer. I'm going to ignore him. I'm going to head upstairs, and I'm going to go back to the room that the other group was staying in. So you're going to break and enter into the other group's room? Well, first I'm going to look around to see if there's anything. So, yes. So, you notice that uh, all of Jeremy's stuff is there. <laughs> all the rubies. Along with all of Jack's rubies. Okay. Yeah. So, I'm going to take Jack's rubies and put them in Jeremy's pack. I'm going to put Jeremy's rubies in Jack's pack, and I'm going to keep the 52-pound ruby in Jeremy's pack. Okay, so you're basically swapping everybody's rubies around. Yes, except for the... I had none. <laughs> Good for you. <laughs> because now I have to do some crucial thinking here because... Because <clears throat> Jack only had three small rubies and two large rubies. Oh, and I'm going to take two of the nicest rubies I see. Okay. And Jeremy had... Let's see. Like so, 25 rubies in total. It's kind of yeah. terrifying, yeah. Let's see. So Jeremy had uh, 10 rubies, 5 medium rubies, 10 small rubies, 5 medium rubies, 2 large rubies, 1 cut ruby, like 1 cut large ruby, and then 1 extra large ruby. So which one are you going to take? Uh, you said one cut ruby? Yes, one extra large cut ruby. Ooh, sorry, yawn. Alright, I'm going to take that one. Okay, please add that to your inventory. Alright. How much does it weigh? It weighs 25 pounds. Good grief. Are there any other cut rubies? Nope. However, uh, you can take one of his large rubies, medium rubies, small rubies, or you can take one of Jack's small rubies or large rubies. Okay, um, instead, how much does a medium ruby weigh? A medium ruby is five pounds. Okay, what about a large ruby? Fifteen. I thought it was ten. I thought it was ten. It's fifteen. Alright. Let me check something. The size difference always is just weird. Okay, I'm gonna take one large ruby. From who? Um, from Jeremy. Okay, they had the same number of large rubies, so... Okay. Um... Okay, and then you're going to swap the small rubies in Jack's pack for the ones in... I'm going Jack's to pack. swap all of, all of Jack's for all of Jeremy's, except for the 52. That's staying where it is. Okay, so you're adding the rubies into Jack's pack, then. Basically, he's adding more. She's adding more. Okay. I'm swapping the two. The 4,000k cash is going into Jack's pack. The other cash is going into Jeremy's pack. Except for the big one. Okay. Notice how she says 4,000 instead of 2,000. Yeah. <laughs> and I know why. I as forgot. The, as the player, not as the character. Okay. That is done. I... Oh, uh, how many of those bond... The, the, what is it, what is it called? Um, Banknotes. Banknotes, that's the word I'm looking for. How many of those are... In there? In which pack? Either. There's only four. Four. Mm, I'll leave those. Okay. 
and then I'm going to go back to my room and go to sleep. Okay. By the way, before you do any of this, roll me a lock picking check, a, a sleight of hand check. It works. Okay. Okay, so you yeah, accomplished all of that. Is Jeremy there yet? Jeremy. Last I checked, he was still high and tripping. Yes. Okay. I think he's just fucking gone to sleep or something. I'm trying not to doze off. No, me too. Well, well we got one quick area. Well, Jeremy's off in the woods being passed out high and all that. So, that just leaves Jack and Ilda. You guys are going to the slums? Yep. Okay, then. So, you guys arrive at the slums, and you see that they're mostly just tin houses with barely any, like, cover or anything. Plastic, or just cloth homes with metal roofs. Nothing special. Some of them are just torn down, people lying in the streets. Everybody is just seem to be sick. What do you want to do? Um, sorry, I'm managing things on my computer. Sorry, okay. uh, I probably want to, I don't know why, but part of me feels like I could ask them questions about this noble person or a person who acts like a noble. Okay. Like for the which person, person looking for. Which person specifically are you looking for? Like you mean in the slums or the person I'm asking for? Both. Uh, I would probably just. I'll ask any of them. I like. I'm not going to be very picky. Are you looking for Rod and Quinn? Yes. Okay. Roll me looking? a. Uh, perception check to find somebody that you think might know. Okay. Wait, were you talking about the the criminal lady, or were you talking about the dude with the rubies and the bangles? I think we came to a conclusion that the dude who ripped us off was a chick. No, no, no. That no, was no, no. That's a different thing. The person who was in Tim's general store who that ripped off Jeremy. Tim, yeah. That was Clint. Oh, okay. The person then, with the rubies and the banknotes was somebody else. No, I'm still going after Rod and Clint. Okay. Even though it's not really my case to handle, I'm still going to handle it. Okay. Mm -hmm. so, Roll me a perception. perception. Yep. You see this uh, kind of... Uh, Weird looking guy hanging out in one of these shacks. Seems to be like a, some kind of soup kitchen. He's kind of just staring at you intently. Because you guys don't belong. What do you do? I'd like to walk up to him. Okay, you walk oh, up to him. Granny, I'm letting you. I wanted to make sure that I. You said I was able to pick up my dagger, so did I pick up my yes, dagger on the you way? Yes, you picked up your daggers. Okay, just making sure. It's under my coat. <laughs> yes. However, all the other daggers that were by, oh, I only by picked the other up guys, mine. yeah, all the other ones were lost, so. Yeah, I just picked up mine. Okay, then. <laughs> so, I walk up to the guy. Mm-hmm. Does he say anything? He's just, like, staring me down, like. What do you do? Hi. Hello. What are you looking for? I'm 
and looking for information. Information, you say? Yes. Well, depends on what the information you're looking for is. I'm looking for a criminal. <laughs> a criminal? In this system, half of us are already criminals. Trust the me. other half... more or less reformed. I can't blame you for that opinion. Who are you looking for? More or less one of the reformed ones. Well, we got uh, is one of the we, ones who doesn't normally get caught. No. Reformed are the ones that made it back. After so, harsh sentencing. Let's see, we got one-eyed Larry. We got two-leg Joe. What? <laughs> two-leg Joe, you know? You only got two legs. Uh... He lost the others in a horrible accident. Working on the farm. That's sad. We got a good old blind Billy. Do you know anybody with the initials of RC? Um, oh, oh, here we go. We got Richard Keith. We got a uh, Ronaldo. I think his last name was Clifford. We got a uh, Rigoff. Yeah, good old Rigoff. I don't know his last name though. But uh, let me ask you something. Maybe it'd help jog my memory some more if you gave me some uh, something to uh, help with that. You know. What you looking for? He puts his hand on like. You know exactly what I'm looking for. Kind of just kind of makes a symbol of money. Just kind of rub the fingers together, like you know. I would just like to point out that I'm standing behind her and still have my great axe drawn. So <laughs> they're not intimidated by you. I know. I'm just saying. Matter of fact, they're kind of just laughing at you, thinking that you're intimidating them. I'm not saying that I'm trying to intimidate them. I'm just saying that I'm standing there with my axe out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. Why else have an axe out unless you're trying to intimidate or use it? Because I think I might need to use it because I already did once. No, that's what the guy said. That's what the guy says. Okay, then I said in case I need to use it again. Pardon my use. friend, he's a little paranoid. Eh, please. You don't survive without being paranoid here. Mm -hmm. I'll give you that. So... But how much? Depends on who you're looking for. Give me a name and I'll tell you the price. Rodham Clint. His eyes widen. I can't help you there. He immediately runs into the shack. Closes any door that he can and just hides. At the sheer sound of the name, everybody in, within hearing distance gets up and runs. Jeez. Well, I guess that didn't work as planned. Roll perception, Jack. Roll perception, Jack. Oh, goody. <laughs> All you see is a kid left on the street. Both you and Elda will see this. What do you Again, do? Now just stand there and keep watching. So you're staring the kid down? No, I'm basically just staring down the street. Okay. What do you do, Elda? You see a kid just standing there. I feel inclined to walk over due to like 
You're fucked. So you, so you walk over to the yeah, cave, Yeah, I'm inclined right? to walk over due to things that have happened in the past. Okay, he says, You're looking for Robin Clint? But, but, but she, she's a, she's bad. She, she, she's a bad woman. And then he falls over. You see that there's a dagger sticking in the back of his head. So what you're telling me is that we're hunting sheep who must not be named. More or less. Great, we're hunting the female Voldemort. Also, you just saw a kid get killed in front of you. That Great. sucks. <laughs> yes. And and on inscribed on the dagger is a giant C. Like a giant fancy C. Hmm. And with that, I guess we'll leave it off there. Sure. So thanks for watching, so watching. guys. See you uh, next time when I figure out what all is going on. Or we next don't. Time. Oh yeah, they're probably gonna die. Uh, we'll see. Odds are Jeremy's already dead. Yeah. <laughs> Watch as his character does spins. <laughs> you spin me around, baby. Happy right. Alright, uh, see you guys. See ya. Bye.